All right, so here we are standing at yet another campus. So we are in Delhi today in the cold, cold December month. And we are going to explore today the life of the students of Great Lakes Gurgaon. We are going to try and understand from these very people how they spend their day, what exactly happens in their life in that particular day and what makes them going for their MBA life. So let's get going with me. Hi. Hi. Hi, Paul. Hi. Hey, Paul. Hi. A very good morning and welcome to our campus. Thank you very much. And I'm enjoying my time as much as probably you guys do. And I'm expecting that you guys will give me a gist of your day here today. Definitely. Sure. We are uh, happy to be part of this. Sure. That's it. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, yourselves. Uh, what programs have you guys opted for? My name is Pradyumna. I'm from the PGPM batch. My name is Harshita. I'm from PGDM first year, and this is Anushka uh, from PGPM one as well. Paul, uh, I have my admissions committee meeting. Okay. I'll catch you guys later. Sure, no worries. Thank you. Go ahead. See ya. Bye bye. Okay, Harshita, Anushka, welcome uh, to this conversation. Uh, tell me a little bit about the programs that you have taken up here, and uh, how do how do you think your mornings start? What exactly happens in first thing? Our regular usual day usually starts at around 7 a.m. 6 a.m. You may find us some students coming downstairs for a walk. Uh, some students go for the gym. So yeah, basically it's like that. And you'll find the Great Lakes actually never sleep. So you'll find people getting up at 5 a.m. and also people sleeping at 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what our usual day goes about. And is this a residential campus? All the students stay here itself, or people choose to stay outside? No, no, no. All of them stay in the campus. Okay. And uh, where are your hostels? Uh, uh, right so, here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the girls' hostel, mm -hmm. and we have the boys' hostel that side. Okay. And uh, what is the hostel strength like? Like how many students the, the hostel can accommodate? We have around 115 PGPM. Uh, in first year, we have uh, around 280 students, and in second year, we have 230 students. You know what happens is uh, when you're part of a hostel, you have a hostel life of itself. Yeah. And uh, there are stories that you make create in these two years that you spend here. I'm sure you guys must have also had your share of stories. So, yeah. can you share a few of those with yeah. me? I remember one incident which was very memorable. So it was raining uh, on a Sunday year, afternoon and in the amphitheatres, few people were dancing in the rain. So by seeing them, uh, they were initially there were just five people and then a lot more people joined and after one hour you could see that all the, the students were dancing downstairs. in the amphitheatre. So I remember that that one memory was completely memorable for me. Let's see what happens uh, immediately after the hospital rooms, where, where do you guys head to and sure. uh, let's take this conversation further there. Sure. So uh, guys, this campus looks pretty big to me. How big is this? 7.2 acres okay. to be precise. Okay. okay. Uh, and uh, what are some of the iconic things here uh, that you guys, you know, experience on a daily basis? Okay. Uh, these are the two iconic structures we have. This is our Tower of Reflection. Mm -hmm. Basically resembles or showcase a journey of a student from normal student to a uh, big leader or professional. Okay. And, and this the is the academic block. block. So we have our classes here. Uh, and we are headed to the academic yes, building sure. for sure. Uh, you were talking about the amphitheater as well, where a lot of fun and activity yes, happens. Yes, yes. So where exactly is that? So oh, we have amphitheater over there. Right. So we'll go to the amphitheater also uh, during the day. We'll explore this campus a little more. Right now we are headed to the classroom. So let's yes. go and see what is happening there. Yeah, sure. Let's sure. Okay, uh, guys, this seems like the place that you guys come very often yeah. or do you bunk classes? No, 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 no very, very often. often. <laughs> okay, uh, so immediately after your uh, hostel rush, I think these are the places that yeah. you study. Uh, what is the batch strength or you know, how, what is the strength of this particular classroom that we talk about? Uh, we have 230 students in PGDM uh, second year, 280 students in PGDM first year and around 150 students in PGPM. And, and what is the uh, diversity of this classroom like? So, uh, in terms of gender diversity, in terms of people coming from different sectors, how is the mix like? 
for the PGPM, it's around 30 to 70, like the female to male ratio. And if we talk about the PGDM, so in the, both the batches, we have around 40 to 60 ratio. That's pretty good, I think, yeah, in yeah, terms yeah, of good. preschools, right? Uh, talking about diversity, one more point I wanted to ask is the kind of mix that you guys have in terms of the uh, kind of sectors or the domains that people come in here uh, from. So, for example, is it like a engineering heavy uh, campus because, you know, for the fact we know that Great Lakes is known for data mm -hmm. analytics and machine learning and whatnot, right? So, how is that mix uh, at this particular campus? If we talk about PGPM particularly, so we do have engineers comparatively in higher ratio, but we still have more ratio from the bio background or we talk about the humanity background. And if we talk about particularly, particularly the PGDM batch, so I guess the ratio is around 30% only. It's not an engineer dominated batch. We have students from all the respective domains. Both of you guys are uh, part of the PGDM program yes. that happens here. How different is the PGDM and PGPM program if somebody needs to understand these programs better? Uh, the PGDM batch is divided into six terms and the PGPM is divided into seven terms. The PGPM ba uh, batch is the course PGPM is for one year and the PGDM is for the two year is a two year program. So if, and if we talk about the majors, so we have marketing, analytics, operations, HR, finance in both the curriculums. But in the PGPM, we have an additional major as well, which is of a digital strategy. Help me a little bit understanding, you know, the kind of USP that this particular institute has. We talk about Great Lakes uh, uh, Gurgaon. What comes to your mind and what should come to the mind of people who are looking for this institute? Uh, the biggest USP Great Lakes have is its analytics program and the artificial intelligence and machine learning program it provides. Apart from it, the leadership program, we have an experiential leadership program which is known as Karma Yoga where the students go and visit the 70 villages we have around the campus and assist to the uh, schools and the hospitals which lack in infrastructure in terms of the education environment and the uh, sanitation and different aspects you know, it's uh, lovely knowing that uh, you guys are actually going there and you're meeting these people in the villages as well and trying to understand their problems and solving for the issues that are at, at hand. Uh, I think uh, we have spoken quite a lot about the academic side of things and now probably is the time where we should head out to the other side of the life, which is the campus life itself that's there. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you guys can show me around yeah, a few sure. places where you guys sure. have fun. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, uh, a hard day's work at classrooms and everything and then you step out and then you head out for the rest of the day which consists of a lot of fun uh, and a frolic and I'm sure that you guys also take part in a lot of these fun activities. So tell me a little bit about what happens beyond the classrooms. So we have different clubs and committees. So let's talk about the clubs first. So we have marketing, operations, analytics um, and sports club as well. Apart from that, we have Toastmasters Club for the communication skills in, in order to improve the communication skills of students. So we have like different committees as well. We have admissions and BPR committee, we have uh, the student council, we have placecom committee. So uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, you guys were talking about clubs and committees. Yes. Uh, tell me a little bit about what goes on in planning some of the fests that you do. Uh, is there like an annual fest that is upcoming or has already happened? Or is there mm -hmm. something related to sports that also happens here? So at Great Lakes, you'll find a diverse range of students over here from every corner of the country. So we celebrate every festival as well. Either it's uh, Ganesh Thapna, Ganesh Chaturthi, Navratri, Onam. We have celebrated every event so far. Apart from it, if I talk about the annual event we have over here, so one is Sapiens and one is Crest. So Sapiens is basically an annual conference where a senior executive from all the domains come to the campus and we have a theme planned from uh, just like we had the, this year we had sustainability as a theme okay about the crest uh, the all the clubs and committees organizes different events different competitions and students from all over the b schools participate come in the campus and participate in it so yes so apart from that we also have sports tournament in the college so recently uh, we had a volleyball tournament okay i'm getting late for my classes so i'll take a leave see you see, see you, you see you Arshara. all right see ya. Do you guys uh, head out to have your favorite Chole Bhature? Yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely head out to Delhi to eat that Chole Kulche and all Lovely. the street food of Hey Paul. Ah, speaking yeah, of which, the Adcom guy is here. Yes. Oh, how was the meeting? Ah, it was good. 
uh, we have our uh, interview process scheduled in the next week so we were discussing about how everything should be planned and yeah so we had a good discussion uh, we were talking about the life uh, in this particular campus we spoke a little bit about the committees clubs and the kind of life that you have beyond the classrooms uh, and i'm sure there are certain certain activities that are happening right now as well because we are heading towards the second half of the day which probably is the most fun part of yes. the day so if you guys can show me around those places take me to places where people are jamming having fun singing dancing that would be great sure, sure. let's go Uh, this seems like the entire college has uh, gathered uh, and uh, is going to have fun. So tell me a little bit about is this what happens every day? Is it a regular occurrence? Uh, well, not a regular occurrence, let's say. Uh, but actually, when people are free. Uh, what they do is they sit in the amphitheater with their group, or there is a badminton court, so they play with their friends, or there is a table tennis room. You will see people playing there, somebody playing cricket on the ground. So this is what actually happens in the campus in their free time. What students do in their free time. Right, and uh, you were mentioning. I remember that uh, you guys have something coming up yes, next yes. month itself. So are these guys preparing for that? How yeah. is the so uh, basically. having the annual fest press in the month of january so all the clubs and committees are actually preparing for that in between we can uh, have a, a small christmas party or a new year eve so let's see what's there for great lakes i'm not going to waste any further time i'm going to let these guys enjoy the moment i'm going to listen to the songs that probably they have in mind for us that they want to sing along and i hope that you guys also can tag along and enjoy the session Okay, uh, guys. Uh, after a long day, I think all three of you are present here, and we are sitting at a place where properly you guys come in or not. You guys will be able to tell me better. Now we visit this place quite an often time. Right. This looks like a place where a lot of colorful books are also kept. Uh, what is exactly this library like? How big in terms of the number of books and the repository that you have here? Although I'm not a regular visitor to the library, uh, library is one place where most of the students uh, spend their time here. Uh, we have collection of all the books ranging from uh, any different uh, business aspects. So uh, we also subscribe to magazines, the newspapers. So that is really helpful in uh, solving any cases as such. I've forgotten to ask you something which is very important. Sure. How does one become part of this particular institute that we have been talking about the whole day? The application process in Great Lakes is uh, pretty simple. First, we have the application form, which is uh, released in the month of July, August, and the uh, interview process starts from December, and it goes on till March, uh, actually. And we have, unlike other colleges, we have something called as profile-based early interview process, which happens in the month of December. So here, uh, the candidates are uh, evaluated on a holistic basis, uh, right from their uh, previous academic uh, uh, scores, the work experience. uh their extracurriculars and uh, the way they have performed in their work and on a holistic basis uh, they are uh, evaluated and uh, once the application form is filled uh, the interview calls are out uh, the first part is the awt part which is the analytical writing test uh, post which we have the personal interview which are conducted and uh, after a month or so uh, once the candidate is evaluated uh, on a holistic basis the calls are uh, sent out to the student So this is pretty much the application process. Right. And as much as the application process is important, the placements are also important. And I know for a fact that 
the PGDM students that are sitting right in front of you, they probably are going through their internship processes. So the best person who would be able to talk about placements is probably you. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, what has been uh, placements like for you for the PGDM batch this year and are you placed? I was placed recently. Uh, in the month of uh, September, our placement starts. That is just like four months uh, after the program is commenced. In a gap of like 45 to 60 days, almost 80% of the batch will be placed. Uh, I am placed in Eugen Software as Account Manager and I'm looking forward to it now. Uh, you know, we have spoken a lot about the day in the life. Uh, we have been to the places that you guys go to every day. We have seen the kind of things that you do to, you know, calm your senses and enjoy. Uh, in between the hustle and bustle of this entire uh, MBA program that you guys are part of. To end things off, I have a very fun segment for you guys where we are going to play a rapid fire round. So, are you guys ready for it? Yes. Sure. Lovely. Okay. So, my first question to all of you is, are you guys introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. extrovert. What is the favorite location for you guys in the campus? Amphitheater. What is the favorite food that you have in the mess? Gulab jamun. I agree on this. Books or YouTube videos? YouTube, YouTube videos. videos. <laughs> what in YouTube videos? What do you like most? I mean, inside I am. Thank you very much guys uh, for you know being patient showing us around the campus and giving us a gist of how a life or day in the life of the students of Great Lakes School now look like. Uh, I definitely had fun. I hope that you guys also had fun too. We indeed enjoyed. Lovely. And if you want to know more about this particular institute, there's a link in the description. Go check that out. Do tell us if you like this episode and if you want us to go to different campuses to come up with similar content for you. Thank you very much guys and have a great life. Thank, Thank you. you so much for